a venturi straight into the fish tank which is given aeration uh, for the fish it's this pipe actually goes down to the bottom so it's also causing a bit of flow uh, water flow for the fish to play in uh, that's my air pipe an air stone on it into the fish tank also adding extra oxidization now I've got a few bits to show you so I'll just take steps okay I've set both my taps so both of these two bells should be working simultaneously in about two minutes I'll show you the outcome when they start okay that's tank one going tank two just started uh, both have venturi pipes on them as extra aeration for the sub tank which will go through the pump and go into the fish tank and back into the uh, row beds I forgot to mention the info, inflow from the uh, filters as well as there's a small air stone in there as well from the air pump uh, filters are working fine we've got them at 400 litres an hour so yeah everything's good I'll wa I'm waiting for the uh, sirens to block up because I've deliberately blocked them overfilled them so uh, I can show you what happens how our bell siphon housing actually blocks Okay, as you can see, the tap is fully open, and the other tap, and then my strawberry plant, is also fully open. This gives maximum flow to the grow beds, uh, which is far too much for these bell siphons. So, these bells will actually sit there and drain constantly until the inflow is reduced rather than break the siphon they'll just keep pouring water out and your plants won't get any water because the water is on the bottom of the tank rather than on the top so to simply reduce this problem you turn the valve there's another one sorry about the motion I'm on my mobile phone you just slow down the valves and they will eventually break the siphon. Okay, it took a couple of minutes, but as you can see, the siphons are broken, the taps have been turned back. This is the main reason for using a constant flow, split flow system. Uh, I use my mine on a timer. Uh, there's a split flow pipe there, the 25 mil going to the fish tank and the filters, 50, uh, 25, fill, 25 mil pipe going into the reducer, the 15 mil pipe going into the both of the grow beds and there's a backflow pipe there that's at the moment it's turned down. Over here I have a timer. This is runs my pump, so I can actually, uh, every hour, I can sh shut and pump down for 15 minutes. So if I do get a block up like that, on the outflow, for some reason where the PTO gets blocked or whatever, the water will drain out of the, the grow beds, rather than cause that constant siphon, so all my plants are exposed to direct sunlight with no water all day. Uh, the other the other cord there is to my air pump which is under cover to protect it from the sun from basically the plastic uh, deteriorating. So once more uh, aeration is a key to keeping fish alive and making sure they get fed correctly rather than overfeeding them. Uh, with the venturi back up to the air pump 
my uh, system will always be aerated even if the air pump dies which it shouldn't do because it's got a AC DC air pump which runs for 10 hours on battery so I hope this is helps some people work out how to do their system or give some advice to people who already got systems that maybe want to do something different uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye.